hot, it's warm. Front window, back window, draft. It's all about the draft, people. And look who's joined us! Hello! I'm from Evo Marinara. Your foot long with meatballs. <laughs> Good morning everyone, if you have not already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, ring the little bell, videos every Tuesday and Friday. And the odd occasion we do the Sunday video, which we are definitely going to bring back very soon when I get more time. So, today is a very exciting day. Today is the day we are silaging 2K19. Lads have just turned up, the additive is sorted out for the first half anyway. And Dad's just taking the top off, I think he's just wasting time. We had a bit of discussion about this morning. So what he's done, because we've still got a bay left. We're taking the top off where it's got a bit gross. This is from 2017, um, so a year before, uh, because we had a bit left over. We're taking the top off because he said it'll just get ruined. But my theory was, let's have a look, is you're never going to get the silo all the way up there anyway because you're the top. So this obviously is a bit horrible from the year before. Yes, I know if you put a sheet down the side, it might last, but I don't think it would have lasted. My theory, green cheese been on it for two years anyway. I don't think it would last. I know people say black sheet down the side, but I still don't think that would have kept. I just think we would have gone gross because we'd already moved it last year. Bit of air in it last year, whatever. We're going to start putting the grass on top of here. Again, I don't think this was the best idea. Father does, so he's done it, which we'll find out in, we'll find it this time next year, what happens, because obviously it's going to be buried for another year. And uh, yeah, loads of silo left challenging today very excited aren't you very excited but we need to get on yeah. what i'm gonna do <laughs> go on, yeah. we'll see we'll fill it up to there and see if the guy with the book rate with a great big book rate we just slice that off and we'll use that in the next uh two or three weeks for our young stock and calves and pick the rubbish out go off it, go off but it'll be all right it'll, it'll do all right. tidy up for young stock and calves until it's gone then we have a flat surface and we can fill up proper ready to go ready to go so Dad's just going to move this. I'm going to put a pipe down the side. You we always put a pipe down. Or do you want me to do it? Can you jump on your tractor? Don't forget to put the cover back on the yeah, yeah, yeah. thing and bring the trailer and bring it here. So I can quickly load that tipping trailer. All right, okay, no problem. Right, I'll go do that. What I was saying is we're going to put a, a pipe like that down the side. So if it does rain down the side, the water can come out the edge really quickly like we always do. Um, but yeah, very exciting. I'll go move this trailer so Dad can move this. Probably won't video it because we want the silage in. That's what we want today. Silage 2K19. Don't know why I keep saying that because I do. But yeah, right, I'll get this tractor back on. First load is coming in of 2K19 silage. Seems to be going in quite nicely. The first field probably don't need me because it's just there. Second field, they're going to need me. So I'm just going to do some drone shots to get some stuff going whilst I don't have to drive because that makes my life a lot easier. Yeah, first load is in. How exciting. Dad's done a bit at the back. But uh, yeah, smells good. Smells really good.
Never met a match I couldn't handle No one else could ever hold a candle Get ready for a battle cause you know We are on field number three. There is a lot of grass here. The clamp is filling up rapido. Dad's just been into finished tethering out that. We've got some kettle on, haven't we? I said it, toss her off from the shop. Dad's just finished tethering out that field. I mowed late last night and a little bit ended this morning. I can see he's just come back on his 885, but there is a hell of a lot of grass here. That clamp is filling up. We'll do a video in a minute, I'll have a look. But we've just done the 10 and 20, which is there and there. And then we are on to the 15 now. But yeah, it's hot, it's warm. As you can see, I'm the only one with no aircon in the tractor. You can tell that, because I'm the only one in a vest. And I'm the only one, every time I finished uh, filling up, I open a window because it's absolutely boiling, I'm dripping. You can see I've got the new hats on. The, uh, the new black ones with the white writing look pretty cool. And yes, I've got it on the wrong way because I'm cool. Some people do comment in the uh, comment section saying that uh, why do you have your hat the wrong way? Because I'm cool and I can do it. Yeah, I'm warm. Oh, my turn. Here we go. trailer the back isn't shutting so obviously I keep forgetting to check it and uh, the uh, chopper driver keeps telling me and obviously we have to stop and I shut it and whatever. With this we you probably only need two and a half carters with two what's happening is the chopper driver's waiting a little bit with two and a half the carters keep waiting but with this system we go a bit faster and we'll get done a little bit sooner Hopefully, hopefully be done for about, Dad was aiming for about nine tonight. I reckon we'll be done about eight. I'm gonna guess eight, Dad reckons nine. But if that's all, that's if we get it all in the clap. Because it's looking very, very full currently. Noticeably, not as much grass on this first field, not this third field. Second and first, there's loads of grass. You see, well, you might see from the drone. I don't know if we got good shots with the mowing. We've not actually got a wet spot on the farm this year, which is great, so there's no real dry spots. You can see where it was wet last year with a little bit of um, different coloured grasses, and you can see the new grasses that Dad reseeded last year. You can see them, they flourish really well, and they grew, they grew incredibly. You can see why people put new lays down. Yes, it would be great to put a new lay down every year, but it is a cost, and we do all right with what we got, so that's the reason we're not going to do that. And the reason we don't do it, maybe we will do in the future whenever we've got a pasture that isn't growing too well we'll probably change it mix it up plow it up but currently they seem to be doing really well and the yield seems to be pretty good i think we're a little bit early from last year if you remember last year we started at seven at night and finished at about i think it was half six at it's half six in the morning and then i got the new house so last year was a lot harder this year and it's great you can see we haven't got the armrest yet which is annoying but dad might trade with me and like i say my cousin uh, there we go, I'm done. My cousin might drop his Masio if it doesn't come anyway. His name is HM Tree, Serv Tree, HM Tree Services on Instagram, so if you want to go find that, he might let me borrow the Masio another time, we can be shouting now, because he is carted as well currently. Well, he's butt raking, and someone else is carted on this tractor, so hey ho. Right, I'm going to just chill up speaking and keep going. Also, I'm going to open this window. 
from window back window, draft. It's all about the draft, people. I'm so alive with you, I'm awake in my soul. I've got this hope, I can't ignore what it means. Left all the struggle of my holding on for letting go. gonna do so we're doing you know where we did the uh, that's a tight gateway you know where we did the electric vent so we're doing the other side of that because it all goes always goes really stalky so like three years ago we decided to start mowing it because what happens is we electric fenced it and then the grass was probably up your knees and we were trying to make cows graze it and they were never grazing it down and you end up topping like that bunch of really stalky stuff that which they just didn't eat so we're just onto that now, yes, I did crash my drone a little bit, but I was trying to get a good shot of the rolling up. I haven't had a shot of that all day, so I thought I'll get a good shot of that. Crashed it a little bit, but a little bit broken, but nothing that insurance won't sort out. That's why I paid for insurance this time, because I always try and get, like I said before, the best shots I can do. And if it's like the perfect smooth shot, I knew the trees were there. I tried to raise, 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 and then obviously didn't. I'm probably better with the Mavic Pro 2 because it's got sensors all the way around it, so I'm probably better with a piece of kit like that, but that was another 600 quid, and then I have to buy the battery, so that was gonna be up to 150 quid a battery, which I want two spares. So you're looking at another 900 quid for the same drone, so I just didn't want to spend the money on it. Hopefully it'll cool down a bit. My cousin is coming with his assy, just because I'm down to go on the clamp with this, and it's a little bit easier for him, because it's got to be hard with that 885. I don't think I've done a video of him on the, with the 885 on the clamp at the moment, but he's, he's just on there rolling. I was, if you follow me on Instagram or Snapchat, I was promoted to the 885, which is great. That was amazing. So I was doing a bit of rolling, which is one of the most terrifying jobs in the world because you're rolling to the side trying to do a great job because Dad's, it's very particular on his rolling. That's one big thing he is. He loves his rolling and wants to make sure that it's all right and stuff, so. Yeah, it's one of those that try to make the best. Well, you want to do a good job because Dad always likes for you to do a good job. The privilege. Oh, let's get his tip. I think I've driven it in the wrong place. The classic Thomas Charles John Pemberton. I think I need some oil in the back end. Where the uh, mower leaks, I think it's leaked a little bit of oil. Well, like I say, I'm going to go on the Matthew in a minute and Dad's going to go with this. I did say to him, do you want to go on the Massey and because it's not a shot, I'll save your knee, but he said no. So, can't say I didn't try, people. Heart constantly broken, just to believe, yeah, to believe. I know I'm coming out bright, whatever darkness you put a light inside of me.
We are getting through it now, and look who's joined us! Hello! Jonna! She brought Subway, which is amazing. Uh, we smashed it both of us. Joe smashed a foot long. <laughs> I, all the jokes. <laughs> Um, and yeah, I went for a tuna melt because I'm a melt. I went for a meatball marinara. Your foot long with meatballs. <laughs> um, yeah, we're just we're smashing it. There's not a lot of rows left, are there? No, but we've got another field, haven't we? We've got another field. It's that one. The clamp is looking full. There's loads in it. And yeah, I think this is the first time we've ever been in the tractor working with me. No, I've been in with you before on this one. Yeah, but we just drove. No, we didn't. Do we? I swear we, we didn't do this, but we've done something. Oh. I can't remember what. Game. But yeah, it's going really well. It's getting to about what time? Dad said we finished about nine. I said eight. It's ten to eight now. We're going to finish there. <laughs> You're always wrong. Oh, always wrong. We'll sheet up tomorrow. Probably not going to fill the sheet up because there's only three of us, so uh, I can imagine it's not going to be the nicest of jobs because. Just set the GoPro up somewhere. You could do, but it's never as good as chatting. Yeah, but they, they might not like chatting. <laughs> comment below if you like Tom chatting. Well, I think the funnier comment would be the first one to mention about Joe liking foot long meatballs. Foot long with meatballs. Yes, he does. It's not funny. Ah. Um, yeah, so we're cracking on. I have no idea how we're going to sheet it up. But that is tomorrow's problem. Did <laughs> you see you just missed it completely? <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that, they'll watch this. Oh, sorry. No, just edit that out. No, it's going to be. No, no, like, <laughs> it wasn't their fault. <laughs> <laughs> Joanna is taking over Snapchat and Instagram currently, so if you message me, she's replying to everyone. Well, not everyone. That's, not that, everyone. That, that's a bit much. Peace. Look at this dude. Streak, 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 streaks. Oh my god! He's on crack! He's crazy! <laughs> I don't even know his name because I'm still on streaks. So how do I get off him? <laughs> Who's that? How did you even say that? What? Davey Rigard? No, Dara Gordon. Dara Gordon, Dara. You the, love um, the streaks, man for the street. Oh yeah, the um, the Irish got the other side to fill up. Did you know that? Nope. You do now. What have you got? G Royal, I think it is. Cool. Said you're a proper man and a family person and loves farming, same as me. I suppose keep doing what you're doing because it's great. That's nice. Should we send him a picture? Yeah, what's his name? I don't want to like in case he doesn't want uh, people following him. Vlogging and Snapchatting at the same time, we're smashing it. We're smashing it. Although I have this theory that Tom's a rubbish tractor driver, but I've never been in another tractor, so I can't really <laughs> compare. But it's pretty bumpy and awful. Or is a tractor? Yeah, but how many times have you gone into the wrong gear? Um, a lot. <laughs> oh look, the sun's in my eyes. I've just used my TP merge to uh, get it out. Sick. Or buy sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> Well guys, that is the end of today's video. It is the morning after the day before. We're just about to sheet up. Dad is rolling because that is his favourite job. There is a serious lump of grass here. Will one sheet fit it? Who knows? I've just got the fork because what I'm going to do is just tidy up the back end. The sheet can actually get back there. You'll see that there is no room for the sheet at all. Some of the tyres got kicked off and some silo dropped down there which Dad was definitely not very happy with at the time but don't mention it to him so guys that is the end of the video thank you very much for watching get your tp merch at pemmetonsolveshop.co.uk slash tp merch job's done dad's finished rolling i'm gonna get this done i'm gonna have an early night tonight because it's been a long week thank you very much to my cousin again for letting me borrow his tractor and joe for giving me company last night with subway so father did want to say a bit of a final piece on the silage go on hits father we've finished it's well sheeted if you look there's lots of tires on we rolled to the edges uh, we've done a very good job of uh, clamping it this time that's credit to dave cornell but his butt raking skills are immense he can just get it to the edge and i can roll with the whatever tractor i've got i'm not bothered but uh, i always say silage is made in a clamp not in a field and when you're getting in a clamp and the best thing you can do is roll 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 squeeze the air out dave puts a bit on roll it flush it down flat and that's where you make your silage you can have whatever you want in a field you can have a hundred horsepower 
carting tractors, 500 horsepower chopping tractors, but you can't make silage in a field, it's made in a clamp. Made and so clamp. that's why we put emphasis on sheeting up. And this is the smallest area, there's 100 acres of grass gone in this one clamp. It's quite a big clamp, it's 100 foot long by 45 foot wide, and it'll be 12 foot high at the back in the middle or whatever. You. But this smallest area, you can have your biggest losses in the smallest area. So the attention to detail on the clamp will helpfully look after what you start with and it can never get better than what you mow from day one as soon as you put the mower in the grass starts deteriorating so one way or the other so it's important that you clamp it at the best possible time the best conditions conditions and lose and have the minimal losses and that's mainly in the clamp there we go final piece he did want to say a bit when he was rolling he was a bit busy rolling um another thing we put lots of tires on because it helps especially at the front and we still put loads of tires on the green sheet because they're all back there so like i say every year i chuck them up on the sides so we don't actually have to chuck any tires up we had too many tires this time didn't we well yeah and at the end of the day we couldn't just we could get down that part of the clamp I and mean, it's been in a few days now but that part of the clamp was too steep even for me to roll but um, we've tired it up tight there'll be minimum waste there's no point in bringing it in and spending time throwing it off and spreading it as waste and that's where your losses are and uh, yeah and it's he's settled a bit but there's a big heap of grass in that clamp it's Imagine. good 800 900 ton Probably easy like that. easy made lots of additive guys thank you very much for watching the video i think this video is going to be pretty long if i don't do it in two parts but uh yeah if you liked it don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to the youtube channel get your tp merch at permsesfarmshop.co.uk slash tp merch we're picking out some new t-shirts and hoodies literally ordered the samples today which is very exciting and you'll see uh the cow's just eating a little bit of selco that's left on and, the feeder and just to finish off even though it's been clamped for a few days we haven't had an ounce of gravy no juice out of the clamp what bit that's rain from last night on the outside we've had no juice out of this clamp which is fantastic so it's dry matters are good on that bombshell see you later see ya This hope I can't ignore what it means I know I'm coming to find through every fire You put a flame inside